Chef und sagen. It's a holy jolly Christmas. Is that how the song goes? But do we have anybody in the house yet? Yo! What's up? What's up? What's up? Guys, man, what's up, man? What's up, Pato Cat King Jump? Gonzalez, what's up? Daniel Refi, Daniel Refi, make sure you stay here today, okay? Stay here today, but just, you know, Liar Sitch Dick is in the house. What's up, guys? What's up? Merry Christmas, Merry Richmas to all of you guys, man. Oh my God, it's an amazing feeling to be back here. What's up, David Football 10? What's good? Merry Christmas, guys. Patokat16 said Merry Christmas from Australia. Merry Christmas, Daniel Refi. You have been awesome all year, definitely. Drift RX01. Hey, Dominic, remember me? I think I slightly do remember you. Lucas Rojas Santos, what's up, man? What's up? All the way from Brazil. What's up? But Daddy, if Vito comes in, make sure you just stay quiet for a while, you know? Stay quiet for a while or else he's going to start. Emilio Jimenez Velasquez. Merry Christmas from Mexico. Feliz Navi, Daddy Emilio. What's up, Amini Mukhtari? Of course I remember you. I could never forget you, man. Guys, smash the thumbs up button on this video one time. I'll be opening my only Christmas present. Let me put this thing down. Um, One single... Christmas present I got. Um, Tennis, why is the fan on? I don't understand why this fan is on, man. Um, take that fan off. Okay. Humongous is in the house, guys. Smash the thumbs up button for this video one time. What are you hoping to get, Dominic? Um, we just have to wait and see. I have a card here. I have a card here. So since I have 16 people up in the house right now, I think I should just, you know, begin... The whole um, opening and stuff of the Christmas present. But let me open the card. Football Shirts United said Richmond's Rich Squad. Yes, man. Ron St. John is up in here. What's your score prediction for Manchester City versus Newcastle? I'm predicting a 3-1 victory for Manchester City. So I got a card here. Oh, my God. It got money inside too, guys. So I have a card right here. And this gift is from Tannis, guys. Um, the best gifts of Christmas are the little things, our happiness, our laughter, our conversation, the quiet moments when we're just comfortable in each other's company. Awesome, man. Awesome. Open up the card. And, guys, I have a dollar bill. Wow. Very thoughtful for Tannis. And it read um, 100 reasons why I love you. Tannis. You're not supposed to write on money. Hey, you're not supposed to write on money. It's a felony um, offense. It's supposed to be in your wallet. So why should I write everybody? Listen, you're not supposed to write on it's money. You're going to get in trouble for this. I'm going to report you for this. But I got a dollar. This dollar will not be spent. It's supposed to be you know, she said to put it in my wallet. And it says, and the best part of the new year will be sharing it with you. Love you loads, coconut. Coconut? Now and forever, evil laugh. Tell us it's a bad girl, man. Bad girl. What's up, Daily Soccer 3? What's up, man? Liar Shistik. Does money has copyright? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Okay. Guys, and it's time to open my present. Time to open the present for the grand opening. Let me lean this thing a little bit so you guys can see what's going on here. Time to open up this thing. See, well wrapped, well gift wrapped. Woo! One single present, guys. One present. It's not snowing right now. Definitely not snowing. Harambe Ishuram say you got a condo. What? Guys, hey, 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 hey. Stop that. Stop that right now or you get blocked. Okay, um... Time to open up. Okay. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think it is? 
Let me see who can guess this. What do you guys think it is? Franklin Kaplan said clothes. Guy Purcell man, what's up? A shirt. It's the project. He said it's a shirt. What's your favorite sport other than football? He said Pato Cat is cricket. A console. Lia said console. Manchester City shirt. Guy Purcell man. Julian Cruz said shirt. Emilio said Man United shirt. No, -uh, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. City Champions jersey. Man not hot. Manchester United shirt said 77. What's up, guys? Everyone who just joined the stream, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, man. Smash the thumbs up button one time. And guys, are you ready for the big reveal? Are you full American? No, I'm not full American. I'm from the West Indies, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, to be exact. Um, and it's time to open it. Oh, my God. I don't want to open it. Woo! Guys, look what it is. Who guessed it? Who guessed it right? Who guessed it? Oh boy. Who guessed it? I have a PS4 already. Who guessed this right? It's a grand opening of the Manchester City. The Manchester City home kit. Oh my God, and it has the B. Guys, it has the B right here, you know, the Manchester B. It has the Manchester City logo embroidered on right here, and it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty good, man. You see, stitched on pretty good right there. It has the Nike logo, you know, stitched on pretty good. It, you know, Nike dry fit. Manchester City in the back. You know, I'm practicing to open um, jerseys and stuff because there'll be a lot of this in the future. And in the back, guess what it says, guys? Guess what it says in the back? You see that? Guess what it says in the back? I'm, I'm mad excited, guys. I'm really excited. It says Tannis in the back. Not Janice. It says Tannis. It says tennis, and I get it in a medium. I get all my shirts in a medium. So if anyone wants to send me a shirt or something, it's going to be a medium, you know? So, Harambe. Harabi. What is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with Harabi? Okay. Um, Guys. This shirt is awesome, man. You see, you got the Premier League logo right over here. Right over here, Premier League logo. It's pretty cool, though. It's like reflective. And the shirt is really nice. It's a, actually a different type of shirt than the, um, the third kit and the away kit. I have all three now, guys. So it's pretty cool, man. The Etihad Airways. You know, we have the, the whole authentic logo down here. You know, I like authentic shirts, you know. With the number and everything. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. It's actually, the home kit is actually cooler than I thought it was. You know, you have the next and tire over here. At one time, I only used to you want to use necks and tires. They're really good tires, too. Um... You have the tag here, the Nike tag. You know, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. And I'm exciting. I'm going to go. Should I put this on? Guys, should I put it on? Should I wear it in the video right now? Or I shouldn't? What do you think? Okay. Let me, let me put this on. Jingle bell time is a swell time. Do la 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 la. Do 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 
All right, guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Woo! This looks awesome. You know, I put it over the red shirt to cover up the whole Man United look. So, you know, I'm back. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. It fits perfectly. And I'm really liking this, man. I can't wait to sport this. I can't wait to wear this in videos and stuff, man. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? If you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, smash it or smash it already, man. What are you guys waiting for? But guys, enough about me. What did you get for your Christmases? What did you get? Let me know what you get. Share with us what you got for your Christmas. All right, Advanco is up in here. No, man, I don't know who this like. Everybody's saying it's you at Danny Refi. All right, guys. Um, come on, let's go, let's go. Franklin Kaplan said a wallet. Um, Lucas Rosa said chocolate. That's all you got for Christmas? Chocolate? Liar Shish Stick said I got a computer. What type of computer you got, Liar? What kind of computer you got? Tell me what type of computer you got. I wish I got something. Julian Cruz, you didn't get anything for Christmas? What's going on? I got nothing since I don't celebrate it. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people don't celebrate it. It's Asus. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Bro, don't block me, please. All right, some people are going to get blocked if they, you know, keep using language and stuff in the stream. You know, I don't have any mods in the stream right now. But, um... I don't have any mods in the stream right now. So, I, next mod. Next mod. I'm leaning towards the people who are actually behaving themselves. You know, I have one mod lined up right now. One mod. Daniel Riffy, you want to be mod or what? Who wants Daniel Riffy to be mod? Let me know. I got you for mod. <laughs> The Manchester 1560 shirt is the best one. Well, I I really um what you call it? I like this one. This is the home kit, but they uh, I think they update it every year, you know. And I like the I like the new logo more than the old one. Um I like the kits this year, though, the green one and the whole um maroon looking one is pretty cool. Um Strike with Sid is here. Oh my God. What's up, man? At Venko. I don't think Danny is ready to be a mod yet. Yeah, Danny, Danny, I don't really think you're ready to be a mod yet either. So you need to get, um, you need to, you know, learn not to respond to people and stuff like that. What does the B of your shirt, where does the B of your shirt come out? Okay, I got that off. All right. Let me be a moderator. Uh, what? What? D oh my God. This is crazy. This is crazy. The language in here, man. The language in here. Lucas, I like the old one logo better with that eagle. I have it. I don't like, for some reason, I don't like how it looks. I like this one. I like the roundness and stuff like that. He's trolling down. Yes, I think he is. I think he's doing that just for attention. Just for attention, guys. You don't have to do anything for attention. It's only 16 of us in here, so, you know, you don't have to do anything crazy for attention. <clears throat> Make it's the prodigy, prodigy mod. He has showed respect. <clears throat> Guys, my voice almost went in yesterday's um, stream, man. Almost went, but I'm saying, man, I'm saying I have been drinking a lot of water. I have been sucking a lot of Ricola, and the voice is still here. Was it a shock that the U.S. missed the World Cup? Big shock. Big, big shock. I was, you know, if you go back and you see my reaction video for that, it was like, oh my God, guys, I was actually watching the, I was actually making the video and I was trembling. I was actually trembling. But what did you guys get for Christmas though? What did you guys get for Christmas? Wolfie is in the house. What's up, Sebastian? He's back. Cy Hattin 79, Roblox, Richmas, Richmas, very merry Richmas to you. What's up, man? What's up? Um, 
you know. So Laya got a, um, a Asus computer. I got a Manchester City home kit, you know. And that's it. That's all I got for Christmas. Nothing else. Nothing else. Somebody Sid said he got deodorants, I think. Um, okay. I think Advenco deserves mod. Yes, I'll give up mod soon. I'm going to have five mods. Five mods. And the more, you know, the live stream grows, the more the mods will increase. The mods are to, you know... To basically moderate things, make sure no one is spamming, make sure no one is using language or abusing anybody. You know, if we're having a little clean fun, it's fine, but no abuse to make anyone feel sad or anything like that. Lil Pump Gaming is here. What's up, man? What's up? Is it shocked that my music is trash? <laughs> yes, yes, big trash. Very, very much basura music. I got a sock for Christmas. That's it? That's it. Oh my goodness. DD Gaming, you're going to end up and get yourself blocked, okay? Franklin Kaplan, you got the breast peasant present, honestly. Nothing, don't celebrate. It snows in Canada. It's snowy as crap. Yeah, Danny, I think it snowed upstate New York as well, but it didn't snow in New York City. Lucas Rojas Santos said, U.S. deserves to miss the World Cup just because they call football a sucker. Funny, funny, funny. Manchester is blue. Yes, very blue. Very, very blue. Okay. Um, don't arrest me. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Any more? Okay. Last warning for DD Gaming. Last warning for DD Gaming. Any more weird stuff, you're done. You're done. Definitely done. Because I can't deal with this stuff in the um, live stream right now. You know. You know, I don't have anything against, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, you got to chill, man. You got to chill. It's not funny. It's not funny, man. Liverpool is bad. No, nah, Liverpool is a good team. They just, um, the defense is just terrible. Can you rap? Yes, I can rap, but only songs that I know. Only songs that I really know. You know, but I haven't been listening to a lot of um, music lately, so it's like I can't remember the lyrics and stuff. Liar, shish stick. Liar, are you the only girl up in here right now? You the only girl up in here? He have no respect for women, man. Come on. If there's... Liar is the only girl up in here, so you guys have to watch your language, please. Okay? Do you think we need Alexis Sanchez? I don't think we need him, but he would be a great addition to the squad if you think about it. You know, if we're going to be in multiple competitions, he would add depth to the squad. Plus, if there's like a little niggle or any injuries, you know, he would just slip in perfectly. Plus, I think Leroy Sane would um, accept somewhat of a squad role. Like, you know, he would be rotated. He could come on, you know... As a sub, I think he would accept that, but Sanchez would definitely, you know what I mean, he would definitely be um, a good addition to the squad, you know. Okay, where's my laptop? Uh, uh. Woo, Tannis, what's up? You want to say hi? Say hi, Tannis. Hi. Come on, where's the enthusiasm, man? Tannis has zero enthusiasm right now. Okay. I got an iPhone 6 and a bike. A bike and a FIFA 18 World Cup album for Christmas. Why you got an iPhone 6 though? Why an iPhone 6? That's a really old iPhone, um, Sebastian. It's a really, really old iPhone. She looks depressed. Oh my God. She's not depressed though. She just... <laughs> Strike with Sid said you look de you look depressed. <laughs> wow, that big Christmas tree. Dominic, if Man City lose the Prem, will you cry? Well, it would actually be really sad, man. You know, after, you know what I mean, feeling so good all season and end up and, you know. Okay, um, let me see something. Somebody's going to get blocked right now. Somebody's begging to get blocked, actually. Telling you. Daniel Refi, what did you get for Christmas, man? 
What did you get for Christmas? So Laya, are you using your brand new laptop to watch the stream right now or are you looking at it on your cell phone? The thumbnail for this live stream actually looks pretty cool, man. I'm just looking at it right now and I'm like, oh man, it's looking pretty cool. Okay, um, time to block somebody. I don't think I ever blocked anybody from um from the stream before, but somebody's gonna get blocked. All right, so Diddy Gaming have been blocked. He's been blocked. He's out of here, definitely out of here. Definitely. Pavel, Pavel, what's up, man? Merry Christmas, Dominic. Thank you very, very much, man. Merry Christmas to you as well. What club you think um, Chucky Lozano should go to? I actually think he should stay at PSV and develop his game a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Continue to develop at PSV. Maybe if he, when he goes to the World Cup, if he really have a good tournament, you know, he might get a, obviously it's going to happen. If he get a really good tournament, like when, you know, maybe, who knows, who knows, who knows, you know, golden shoe or something. But I doubt that would happen. But, you know, he would definitely move on to a bigger club, just like um, James Rodriguez did after the World Cup and stuff. So, you know, a lot of players, um, a lot of these big moves hinge on the World Cup. After the World Cup, man, the summer transfer window is sick, you know. And we know it's getting crazy and crazier every transfer window. So you know what's going to happen after the World Cup. It's going to be crazy, man. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, Lozano was linked with City before. Do a video of young player that went the wrong turn to fame. Oh, yeah, that would be a cool video. But um, maybe in 2018. Dude, what happened? David Football 10, what's up? R.I.P. Didi. Gaming is trending right now, guys. R.I.P. Diddy Gaming. He got blocked. Hopefully. Oh, man. Maybe he came back. Who knows? Maybe he came back, you know, with a different name. I, <laughs> this is crazy. Do you like to eat or drink something specific when watching football? Well, Liar, most of the time when I'm actually watching football, I'm actually at work, you know, and working and watching the football at the same time. So I'm not really eating or drinking anything while I'm doing that. So let's say most of the time I'm watching football, I'm on the go. I'll be in the car sometimes driving and watching football. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I love that shirt, Dom. Thank you very much. I just opened it. Just opened it. Guys, do you like my pants? It's a Star Wars pants. It's a Star Wars pants. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I saw it and I'm like, this is cool. I must get it. Hey, Dom, do you believe Ronaldo when he says he'll play until he's 40? No, 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 no. He's going to retire pretty soon. I don't think he's going to play so until he's that old. You know, that would mess up his, his career, I think. I think he should leave on a high. You know, like if he's like 34 years old. I think, how old is he right now? 32? If he's 32 right now... He can actually play until another World Cup, but I don't think it's necessary, man. I really don't think it's necessary. He could play until another World Cup, but he will decline a lot. You know, I don't think he can keep up the the same speed at 36. Like, he, you know, he's already slowing down. I'm telling you. Can you say that Santos will win Clazara in 18 MX, please? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, about to turn 33 in February. I'm Muslim. Happy Christmas. I'm lonely. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Omar M. I hope Argentina chokes at the World Cup. Well, I was actually, you know, um, speaking to somebody today and they want who to choke. They said they want Germany. They think that Germany is going to choke. I'm like, no way Germany is going to get knocked out at the group stage. It ain't happening. Okay, um, Laya, what do you think? Who do you think can replace Ronaldo and Messi? Well, these players are irreplaceable, man. They're just not easily replaced. 
And Messi, he got a long way to go before he retires. Hopefully, we get to watch him for five more years because he's pretty young still. He's way younger than Ronaldo. And Ronaldo, he can be replaced. He can be replaced because, for example, when in Real Madrid, they have Marco Asensio coming up. So if Ronaldo, whenever he gets injured, you know, he just slot right in. So, you know, you have to learn to live. We have to learn to, um, what you call it, deal with life without Ronaldo and Messi sooner or later. Because they're not going to be around forever. Okay, um, let me see questions. Oh my goodness, Didi Gaming back to life again. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy, but oh my God, this is, wow. Wow, wow. It's crazy up in here tonight. Do you think Guerrero will be present for next World Cup? For which next World Cup? The 2022 World Cup? Let me know. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Who's the most overrated coach in Europe in the last years? Most overrated. Jose Mourinho, I think. Most overrated. He have done a lot, but, you know, he's not God. He's not God. Do you think Club America is trash? I really don't know much about Mexican football, so I can't really speak on that. So... Um, my house got it. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Julian Cruz said Klopp is overrated. Well, you could say that a little because Klopp is an attack minded, um, manager. He needs to work on strengthening up the defensive part of his, uh, manage managing. So, you know, Marcelo Beisler is most overrated. Okay. Oh, wow. We have some, um, what you call it? And Rafa Benitez. Yeah, he's, um, but then again, he did brought Newcastle back up. So you got to give him his, um, his props for that. I must say, got to give him his props. But guys, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button for this video yet, make sure you smash it already. I don't know what you're waiting for. Don't know what you're waiting for. Okay, um, you worked. You worked on the tree. Which tree, Liar? The Christmas tree? No, I didn't. That's Tannis' Christmas tree. Okay, um, no, no, Mourinho, come on. Um, he won the Champions League with Inter and Porto while Guardiola did that with Barcelona. But the thing is, the thing is, um, Mourinho, I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess he's falling off a little. You could say that. Falling off. Fact. I look at a great coach as he turns players into world class. Exactly. Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. Turns players into world class. What Mourinho is doing right now with, um, what you call it. What Mourinho is doing right now with Man United. He's just turning players into garbage. If you really look at it. Look what he did to Mkhitaryan. Like, oh my God. You know, what's going on with Mkhitaryan? You know. I don't, Lukaku is overrated, overrated. He doesn't perform well against bigger teams. He only bully the smaller teams. You just check the stats, guys. Check the stats. All right, guys, you have any questions for me? Any questions? Guys, I have made Lion Shishtik a moderator because, you know, she's one of the, you know, few girls who turn up to watch the stream. So I really appreciate that. You know, I appreciate her interest in football. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. Guy Person Man says, ban gaming again. Okay. That's sexist. Oh, funny. Advenco. You see Advenco. Guys, you said to make Advenco mad, but Advenco, oh man, that comment, man, that comment doesn't look too good at all on your resume. Doesn't look good on your resume. Um, I think Barca will win the league. OJ 2002, of course Barca is going to win the league. Of course. I'm nice to pretty much everyone, Dom. Um, 
Wolfie said, you're the best. You're the best. Don, can I be mad, please? I'm not going to give mad to people who ask for mad. Just remember that. Remember that. Once you ask for mad, you ain't going to get mad. And I don't want to be giving out a whole lot of mods. A whole lot. Like, it's not going to happen because people have to learn to be unbiased. And then you can be mad because you have to learn to make good decisions. You're not just going to block people and stuff like that, you know, from the stream just because you don't like them. Um, Kevin Vieta, what's up, man? What's up? Hello, Mary. Richmas to you. I hope you had a really good day. I, had a, I hope you had a good day. Who do you think will win Syria? I actually think Inter will win it, but they just might not. But that's why I want to see somebody fresh win it, man. For real. For real. Thank you very much, Wolf Bastias, the channel, man. I really appreciate comments like that. Really appreciate it. It's okay. I didn't take any offense, guys. Just remember that I did not take any offense. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Your kids like football too? I don't think so. I think the kids just like, you know, to watch stuff on YouTube and stuff like that. They are not that interested in football, especially since they're two girls, you know? Guys, I'm one year old. Wow. Not into them. Napoli takes a Syria. I know, I know. But I'm just saying it would be nice to see a team like Inter win it. Do you think Guerrero could be at president next World Cup? I don't think so. I think he should retire after this World Cup and call it a day. That's what I think. Do you think Real Madrid will win the silverware, any silverware next year? I think they will win silverware every year. Every year they will win something. If they don't win the league, they might win the um, Copa del Rey or the Champions League. Something. They will win some. Believe me. When you're doing videos with Mel of her doing predictions of the World Cup, very soon, very soon, Mel is pretty shy when it comes to that. So I have to figure out a way to get her to do it like, you know, in a way that she's not that shy. Who thinks I'm better than Messi? Which clubs of Brazil? Okay, okay. Sorry there, guys. Sorry, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Lucas Rosa Santos asks, What clubs from Brazil do you know? Okay. I know Santos. I know Fluminense. I know Grêmio. Uh, Athletic. Athletic Mineiro. Um, I know that team who's the plane, the, who got the players killed in that plane crash. I could never say that name properly. I could never say that name properly. Um, who else do I know from um, Brazilian League? I know a few other teams. Um, damn. But I'm running blank right now. I'm running blank. I know a few other teams. But I'm running blank right now. How many clubs from Mexico do you know? Club America, Murcia Lago, Toluca. Um, damn, there's a few more, man. There's a few more, but I, I really... Um, Internacional. Yes, that's the club too. Yes, yes, yes. I'm support Internacional. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Stefan Muradali, what's up, man? I remember you. Merry Christmas from Trinidad, man. Listening to that parang, you know, Trinidadian soca, you know, Christmas soca music kind of stuff, man. What's up, man? What country are you supporting in the World Cup? T T Tigris Club America, I'm supporting. Um, Iceland is one of my clubs. You are Jamaican Premier League? No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, Chape Coency. I really don't know how to say the name properly. Monterey, Pachuca, Tigris, Chivas. Yes, I know those clubs, but I just can't remember the name. Atlas. Oh, man. What's up, man? Everybody in here, thank you very much for joining the stream tonight, man. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Tijuana. Yes, I, I hear those. I hear those names already. I hear those names. Do you think Liverpool should sign Ruben Neves? It's, um... Who Ruben Neves is playing for right now? I think he moved, but who Ruben? Let me know who Ruben Neves is playing for right now. 
How many MLS clubs can you name? Oh, yes, that Ruben Neves who's played for Wolves. Yeah, 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 I thought so. I'm getting mixed up with him and Gon Goncalo Guedes. I'm getting mixed up with those two players. Okay, um, Guadalajara lost the Libertadores to America to International in 2010. Yeah, Guedes Valencia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! But guys, man, guys, David Football 10 said, dude, what's up? What's up? I'm a new sub. Thank you very much. Tekashi69. Thank you. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is like black and, you know, more darker colors. I like gray, especially in um football. That area, if it says, my teeth hurt. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. You know, a little pump. You like my music. Six nine. Yeah, he have one good song. One good song. Diego Bravo says black is a shade. Oh boy. Twenty one savage is Osmoon on your pick. We you talking about Danny Riffy. Most memorable moment in your life. Oh boy. There's a lot of memorable moments. Bad moments. Good moments. You know, one of my most memorable moments in my life was, um, let, let me see. Let me see. Maybe when I first came to America, you know, I could never forget that. It felt so strange and felt good at the same time. Um, what's your favorite tournament in football? By the way, I'm a big fan. Thank you very much. One of my favorite tournaments is the Champions League. Like, I you know, I live for the Champions League, man. I'm telling you, I like the Champions League a lot. But you have to say the World Cup, but it comes every four years. So the Champions League is every year. So it's like, you know, my favorite. I was actually watching the Champions League when I made my first ever football video. Barcelona versus PSG 6-1. Nobody could have... Sorry. Sorry about that. Lil Uzi or Lil Yachty? Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi Vert is better than um, Lil Yachty. When did you start watching football? I started watching football in 1998. 1998. Do you play football? No, I don't currently play football, but I do know how to play football. I'm going to start doing a little bit more football, um, actual football on the channel in 2018. Was uh, Chapo Coense playing deliberately attacked? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. What was the first match you watched? The f whatever was the first match of the twenty um the two the nineteen ninety eight World Cup? That was it. It was France versus somebody. I can't remember, but that was the um thing. Favorite World Cup that you saw? Well, my favorite has to be the actual um. It has to be the first one. It has to be the first one because I could remember the final pretty good. That's when they had the golden goal rule and everything. I remember Lauren Blanc scored a golden goal, you know. So it has to be that time when France won that World Cup. It's time for Africa. I hope you reach 100K subs in 2018. Well, that would be awesome, man. That would be awesome. What do you think of football in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Well, they just play amateur football in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, man. Ain't nothing too serious going on down there. Ain't nothing too serious. So, just a bunch of amateur football players and, you know, they don't, you don't get paid that well. You don't get paid to play football like that. So, you know. Lyle, what's your favorite player in Manchester City? Leroy Sane. It's St. Vincent and the Grenadines, two islands. It's actually a lot of islands. It's like a chain of islands. A lot of small, small islands. Google it and check it out. What do you think of Jamaican football? Excuse me. I think most of the um, Jamaican, you know, ballers are actually... The better ones are abroad. They're foreigners. They play in England or they play in America. I don't know much about Jamaican football, but they have made they made the World Cup in 1998. They can't seem to, you know, get back in it. 
ever since. So you can say the quality of football is probably declining, you know, but they did really well in the Gold Cup. And that wasn't the strongest team they were playing with. And, you know, so who knows, man? Who knows what Jamaica can do in the future? But Liam Bailey doesn't play for Jamaica like that. That's the thing. He doesn't play for Jamaica. I don't even know if he ever played for Jamaica. What is Man City's best goal of this season? Well, it has to be one of those Kevin De Bruyne goals. Definitely. Ahmed Alzheimer said, Rich Squad! Did you recently get the City jersey? Yes, I got this today. I actually opened this. This is actually what I opened in this video. This Manchester City jersey. So excited about it. I have completed, you know, the trio of Manchester City jerseys. I have the home kit, the away kit, and the third kit. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a nice jersey. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Tennis. <laughs> Man City for life. Is that your hat? I see a light blue. Yes, it's a light blue. Yes, it is. But guys, guys, I have a big question for you, man. I have a big question for you. I really appreciate it if you put me as moderator. I will block negative people. Okay, do you think Trinidad could make it to a World Cup soon? Oh boy. They have a lot of they have a lot of work to do. Definitely. But they can make it. They were in the hex. Once you make it to the hex, it's a Really high possibility that you could make it to the World Cup, man. I, I'm telling you, really high possibility. Trinidad and Tobago, zero, Sweden, zero in 2006. I actually enjoyed watching Trinidad play in that World Cup. He had Dwight York playing, Russell, Lapity, Stern, John, and a few other players. Would you wear a Man United jersey for $1 million? Of course. Why not? Why not? If I'm getting paid, why not? You got to cash in, man. You got to cash in. How much do you rate yourself for soccer facts or research? I would give you a 10. How much would I rate myself? I actually learn a lot while researching. You have to stay on top of the news. You have to, you know, do, you know, so I remember things, but I'm not, I'm really not that good. I don't think I'm that good for real. I really don't think I'm that good at, you know, knowledge and stuff of the, the games, but you know, I try. I really try to remember what I can remember. Claudio Pizarro is from Peru, right? Yes, he is. He is. But he's, he's retired already. He's retired. He is long retired. Do you think Manchester is red? No. Manchester is blue. Dom, do you think St. Vincent and the Grenadines can win the World Cup? Definitely not. Definitely not. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, he got injured this year. Um, football Pharaoh and Dom are the best at football knowledge. Oh, for real? For real? I didn't know I was... I do a lot of research, guys. To be honest, before I make my videos, I, ha I actually try to do research so I get my facts right. I remember some things that I could remember, but, you know, in life, you go through so many experiences that all the football memories get erased. Believe you me, they get erased. Because I have so many responsibilities and so many things to worry about that I don't remember everything. What debutant teams you can expect at World Cup in the future? I think we actually covered this before in one of these live streams. We said Montenegro, we said Zambia, we said Uganda, Venezuela, you know, even maybe St. Vincent and the Grenadines can make a shocked appearance. Who knows? Oh boy. Oh boy. What's who is your underdog for the World Cup? Iceland, man. Iceland. The man is here. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Definitely. Oh guys, I was asking you guys. Um do you think, guys, I should start doing like a merch in 2018? What do you think about merch? Do you think I should start doing merch or I should have started already? What do you think? Paul, what do you guys think about merch, guys? 
Please, you should have already. Mm. But the thing is, are you guys going to buy the merch? You know, you want me to do the merch, but are you going to buy the Rich Squad merch? You want me to do it, but are you going to are you gonna support? If you're young, you say, oh, Mommy, Daddy, um, you need to buy me one of these Rich Squad t-shirts. Yes, it would be for around $25. It wouldn't be for more than that. Definitely won't be for more than that. $25 is the cutoff. $25. Not more than 30 US. Definitely not more than that. Not more than that. It would be like for $25, maybe plus shipping. Because the way I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be um, you know, on it's gonna be on a website. I think I'm gonna try this web website called Spreadshirt. I'm gonna try that. It will help you with your car insurance. Yes, it will help me pay a few bills. Give yourself time to grow making merch is significant investment. Well, it's not really investment if you're doing it by the arm um, on these this website called Spreadshirt. They get a cut, you get a cut. You don't provide any shirts or anything, you know? So I would wait until I get more subscribers. But it's not I don't look. I listened to someone and they said, "All right, thank you, thank you, Takashi, thank you." They said you should start merch from day one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if you sell five in the first five months, it probably will still make you more money than you will for ad revenue. So if you think about that, guys, you don't really make any money on YouTube from ad revenue. It, it sucks. It really sucks. And, you know, I'm not doing this for money, but if you're putting your time into it, if you're putting your time and you put in your effort and you put in your heart and soul and you're being true, might as well you get compensated for it. Why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Tell me, why not? Plus, it would be cool for me to actually be wearing the, you know, a shirt that says Rich Squad instead of always promoting Manchester City. Like, Manchester City is not really helping me. They're not doing anything for me in terms of financially, you know, stuff. But I love their football team, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm just, I think it's time. I think it's time. And if if I have 3,000 subscribers right now and I say, okay, let me start merch. By the time I get to 10,000, I would have already laid a foundation and already learned the do's and don'ts and all of that. So as the channel grows, you know, you know what I'm saying? You will have something to, you know, compensate you for your time, man. For real. Not just Rich Squad. So if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to put on the shirts and stuff like that, you know, I can definitely do that. You know a good idea I have? You know, guys, a good idea. Could anybody say a good idea? Let me know a good idea for a shirt. A good idea for a t-shirt that I could use to make merch. Pink and gold. Why don't you create a Rich Squad t-shirt? Yes, I'm working on it, liar. Right now, I'm working on a Rich Squad t-shirt. It looks good already. I have somebody I'm working with on a logo. I'm working on a few logos right now. So, I don't want to put the money sign on it because Rich Squad doesn't have anything to do with money. You know, it does not. It doesn't. But um, I'm definitely put that thing and put Rich Squad I'm going to be working on a few designs, guys. Over time, I'm going to try a few designs first. And if it's working, then I'm going to add more designs to it. Exact I could put my face on it as well. Definitely. But I'm currently working on a Rich Squad shirt. You guys would see me wearing one pretty soon. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. Anytime you have a good idea, you have to act on it, man. Because if you don't, Three years down the road, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. I remember when I first started doing YouTube, guys, I could not have done this. I couldn't be here talking to 12 people. Like, it, it definitely couldn't have happened. You know, I was too awkward. I wasn't fluent. You know, I didn't, I wouldn't know what to say and, and stuff like that. So, I'm actually, you know, I got better. And I got better by doing it a lot. So, if I put effort and time into, you know, Working on merch, well, I think it'll be pretty good. 
I think it will be pretty good, man. Make the words gold. The, the words could actually be in different colors, guys. Different colors to put on different, you know, color t-shirts. So it, it's going to be pretty cool. Is Daniel Refi still here? You know, that Daniel Refi hashtag will make a great shirt as well. What do you guys see? What do you guys see? What's up, Nabil? What's up? Merry Christmas, Dominic. May God bless you and your beautiful family. Thank you very much. Daniel Refi, what do you think about your hashtag? That would make a great shirt, right? Oh my God, guys. Think about it. Think about it, man. Danny, stop this like. Yes, that hashtag will make a beautiful shirt, man. Daniel Refi has become a cult figure around here. On the back of the shirt, you could put Rich Squad on the back, which says like a real sucker jersey. Yes, that's a very good idea as well. But I could actually start with just a plain rich squad in the front. You see like where this Etihad logo is? I could put the rich squad like right there. You know, just to start out with something simple, something plain. You know, you will have different... Um, guys, if you don't know about that website called Spreadshirt, check it out, Spreadshirt.com. And you would see, you know, t-shirt. You could customize t-shirts and stuff. But what I could actually do, I could open up a store on there with my designs that you guys can go and purchase. So I don't handle the shirts, I don't handle anything. They would just use my design, put it on the shirts and I get a cut. You know, I can start with doing that and then if I see it's popping, then what I could actually do, I could actually order the shirts from them and you know, sell it. But I think any way you put it, you know, you still, you still could make some money from it, man. You still could make some money. Sell shoes as well if possible. Well, I don't know about the shoes as well, Ahmed, Alzheimer, but I think Spreadshirt, they have accessories. They have like mouse pads. They have mugs. They have bandanas, hoodies, you know, tank tops, male, female. They have baby stuff, kid stuff. So it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. It's really good. So guys man tell me if you're interested in merch once you're interested i will start doing it but if if five people are interested in merch that's good that's good if i sell five shirts five shirts that would be i will make more money from selling five shirts a month than what i make in ad revenue believe me believe me and if you combine the ad revenue plus the money i make from merch I could make $300 a month. $300 a month, US dollars a month. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I can pay a few bills with that, you know? And my time will be compensated and it will, you know, it would make even more sense to put more time into YouTube. What do you say? Socks, yes, that's a good idea as well. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh my God, you guys are funny, man. I like how you guys are talking to each other and having fun, man. I really appreciate it. Laya Shishnik, what's your favorite team? Let me know your favorite team. Hats, hats as well. They do have hats. They do have hats. I must say they do have hats. I'm really... Guys, you will see me wearing the Rich Squad gear pretty soon, man. You will see it. It's going to look... Up. When you guys see it, you're going to be like... Oh my God, he actually got the Rich Squad merch. Oh my God. Oh, so Lai is a big Juventus fan. Awesome. Now I know that. I'll keep that in mind. And guys, don't forget, you can send me mail. My, my address is in my about page. It's under the videos and stuff. Send me a postcard or send me something. Yes, I will get a Rich Squad tattoo, of course, man. Once the brand builds, I will get the tattoo. Maybe somewhere, you know, around here. Add to my tattoos, my list of tattoos. Look at this one over there. Look what? at this one. I'm a selfie. What is wrong with this one over there taking selfies? She got a new phone, guys. She got a new phone. This, and she's this. using the old phone to take a yeah. selfie. Like, what? what is this? What is this? But guys, man, guys, I make sure you send me stuff in the mail. Pavel, make sure you send me stuff in the mail. Liar, make sure you send me stuff. Guys, it doesn't cost a lot. It's just a stamp and a postcard. It should cost you less than three bucks. Everyone moms hate tattoos. 
Oh. But guys, man, if you have a smash a thumbs up button for this, make sure you smashed it. And if you didn't put on your notifications for the, the videos, make sure you put it on. Press the little bell, put on the notification, smash the video. Okay? Guys, my battery is currently dying. So I'm about to end this stream pretty soon. So thank you guys for joining. You should do fan mail every month or so. Well, you guys have to send the fan mail, but I have when you do this when you send the fan mail then I will open the fan mail if I don't have any fan mail I can't open any fan mail so you guys have to send me the fan mail man send me the mail Daniel Refi you have to send me something from Canada man send me something from Canada you say that you're a big rich squad fan you've been here since 200 subs and I haven't got anything in the mail from you yet like what's up with that what's up what's up you know Daddy will send you an Iranian flag. Oh my God. But guys, man, thank you for joining the stream. It's 56 minutes. You know, Tannis is kind of pissed off at me right now because, yeah. yes, she is. Yes. Yes, man. Yes. And guys, guys, I really appreciate you joining the squad. Great live stream. Enjoyable as always. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Laya. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Guys, if you haven't been following me on Instagram, you could follow me on Instagram at underscore Dominic Rich or you could follow me on Twitter at Dominic Rich FC where I will be very active on both um, social media sites but guys man guys thank you for joining Lucas Rojas Santos add me on Instagram man guys battery is dying man until next time guys I would like to say thank you and peace out enjoy the rest of your Richmond it's almost done it's done for some people but Guys, until next time, peace out. Rich!